Okay, zero fossil fuel back. Um, I have allowed the um, electrolyte container to cool just a little bit, and I've taken a, a coffee stirrer and allowed the, the scum that formed around the edge to sink to the bottom. This is what I cleaned out this afternoon. Also, quite a bit of the electrolyte has had an opportunity to evaporate out of the tank. I don't know how well you can see this, but yeah, you can see it. The electrolyte is actually below the surface of the edge of the side of the plate cavity, meaning that there is no electrolyte flowing over the top of the plates. And I want you to get a good look at that action. This is the most action I have seen all night. Um, that is with the same amount of current. However, instead of 94 volts divided across 9 cells, which is roughly 10 volts per cell, I am at something substantially less, probably about 80 volts divided across 9 cells. And I'm still drawing that much current. In fact, I'm drawing more current by, by doing this. A lot of activity going on in there. You can't even see through it anymore because there's so many bubbles. The only place that you don't have a lot of bubbles is at the very bottom where there is the most leakage across uh, between the two plates. But with the voltage that I have applied to it, that kind of uh, pushes it down and keeps it uh, close to the edge. So when you have enough current going through these plates, it doesn't really matter that, uh, that you have that leakage around, around the edge. What's important is that they are isolated in between and that they are not allowed, I guess, to come into contact, at least full contact, with the, the uh, electrolyte container. Hmm. There's a lot of gas coming off there, and, uh, and this is less than two amps. Give me a second here. I'm just going to drop the camera for a moment and I'm going to switch my meter around a little bit. Keep my alligator probe out of the fan. And that is at 83 volts. I'll drop it down to an even 80 volts. I'll go back to the current. And at 80 volts, I'm still at 1 and 3 quarter amps, which is more than I was at before. And I'm getting a much steadier and much greater, much higher production of gas coming out of the electrolyzer cell with the, the ce individual cells more perfectly electrically isolated from one another by the fact that it, they are not fully submerged any longer in the electrolyte tank. I am going to be very, very interested to see what happens when I make a vertical version of this. In fact, I might even go three high. I might even stack it three. Well, that's not going to give me a, an accurate comparison then between this and that one. I would have to go three wide on this to do that. now. I'm not going to do that. I will go too high and uh, I will do a, a comparison study. But this this is fascinating. Uh, this, Unfortunately, it raises more questions than it does answer them. But that's what experimenting is all about. This is good stuff. Zero Fossil Fuel, signing out. Keep experimenting.